How's it going, this beautiful McLaren? I almost take off this alternator, I think. Uh, let me give me a few seconds, guys. There's the alternator. Uh, I will show you the short way. It's a little bit difficult, it's not that easy, but I saw the some shortage mark who did the downpipe installation. Maybe they, they did some first time or some and they short ground to the battery. It's funny thing. Let me take out the bolt. They did they did not disconnect the main power cable. <laughs> this like I saw this few times. Uh, short to ground? Yeah. That sucks. Oh can you hold for me flashlight? And just like it's maybe it's a short, but I don't know. Oh. Just a main 13 millimeter. Oh, it's tight. Now it's good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really interested in what happened, guys, and you can see that right now. Almost the main cable. The 13 mil nut and cable. Okay. This one you can see the short one. Right there. But let me show you. Let me show you guys. That alternator you take take out this the bracket. It's like it over there. It's like it's three, eight, eight, not eight, six millimeter uh, bolt. You need to remove gently and then slide, 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 and not damage this uh, water pipe. It's like it's really gently work. But let's check what is actually happens with this alternator. I'm really interested. And I, I'm sure everybody very interested. Mm -hmm. uh, come on, come on, clip. come on, clip. come on. Done. Okay, mm. seven. No, that that no, one. No, this. Mm, no, no. This one is just. I think. Look like it melted. Like no, it's not melted. Good. This is this is this is the dust. Car came from Texas. Like, looks for me. It looks like sand. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That exactly. Problem. What we did many times. See. And one brush for sure is came off. I will show you guys. I need, I need a smaller one. But you can see the movement. See? The sharp movement. Yeah. The, that that, that, right that plastic cup, that plastic see that? cup bearing. You see how it's moved. And when the at higher speed, it start. Yeah, you can see these two different color. Uh, this is normal, and that one like didn't mm -hmm. touch. And when this height high RPM, that shaft just a moving and hit the brushes. Give me a few. Let me grab this. Oh, no, actually over there. I will show you what happens. This is plastic. This is nothing dangerous because we installed the new brushes and we replace that one. See, this one is glass, that one it's a mat. And when you see the brushes came off because the the rotor it's hit all the time the brushes. Damage just uh, damages. Yeah, you know it's like when you twist the wire all the time like this, mm -hmm. it's broken half, right? Of course. Exactly the same what happens with the brushes. Now we need to fix this one because if we install the new brushes, it's it's about on um, same thing. Same thing. After a couple of days, you you get the alternator warning indicator, and I will show you how we can fix the 
all felt them like well now i pull apart you can see that damage guys and let's first check how is everything looks uh, we switched to resistance and we first we check the the rotor yeah it's good and resistor something around two two yeah two and half ohm yeah that's good uh, i would like to check diets yeah see this is now it's a resistance it's good resistance without the brushes and uh, really voltage relay okay um, here is the new bearing cup and you guys you can see if i install this cup it's still loose over there yeah because the old one when the old one spins yeah this one is already cracked when the old one it spins they just uh, grind the aluminum inside and actually we need to replace this side but we can do our magic tricks and guys it's gonna be work i'm done this many time for a long time and nothing happens okay here is the trick we take that tape and this is not a plastic tape it's a different tape let me uh, cut and what we do we just uh, i already take the scotch bright and clean surface that area we just uh, turn around one time time and I would like to do the three time to make sure everything is good okay knife cut and now I would like to measure how is this things looks mm hmm I think, yeah, I think it's good enough. Okay. Now, I just need to cut this angle. Mm. Oops, oops, oops. Just do this carefully, don't cut your finger. <laughs> clean this area surface it and now need to press it in uh -huh. no it's it's too tight for sure it's too tight need the cut little bit more let's cut little bit more Now it's good, just uh, because. Okay. Yeah, now it's good. Now you can see everybody that plastic cup it's it's a good it's a tight uh, i just want a little bit lubricate just simple grease around the bearing this lubricate it's going inside really smoothly now 
we need to press it in this starter just like a line and then press it in you can hear it like it's nice and smooth going in going in we have a four bolt Need a hit couple time. Uh. Now you can see what there it's no any movement. Nice and strong, and we need to clear this. Uh, now let me take the scotch bright. I forgot for it. Ah, over there. Yeah. Scotch bright and. Now it's good. Okay. This piece of alternator is done, now we need to install new brush. And I, I have a spare relay, I do need that relay and I need to take the spring because that spring is overheated. Okay, I, I need that spring. Here is the old brushes from spare relay and here is the come on yeah here is the spring what I need to install on this alternator uh, okay come on Take the flux. Come on. Okay. See how is the spring overheated? Okay, everything looks nice and clean. Uh, I would like to replace just the one brush because no reason to replace another one. Oops, I have a spare brushes. Nice fly. New spring brushes. Okay, like this. And guys, just need to do really quick. Do not overheat because you need to break this wire.
brushes works everything is good now we need to cut this tail because we don't need clean connection and now we can see the how is alternator works or not from the resistance and diet now we have 900 something and when we install um, I just want to clean edge okay when we install the relay and we have a three more bolt for relay uh, seven millimeter and now it's have to be something around resistance of around 500 if this is 500 everything is works another side see now it's good. We need to install this cup. I wanna blow the, some stuff. Them. Install the cup cover and alternator going back to the car. Fix it. Okay, alternator is in. Oil change. Feel it. Now, time to check. Let's let's connect the battery. Connect the battery, battery, where is the battery? Oh, I hear some click. Click, click, click. Okay. Battery is being connected. So if you guys decide to do this at home, make sure to disconnect the battery, which is located right here. One million percent battery is have to be disconnected because something gonna be happened. Oh, hold on. Where is okay, I need at least 14 volt. Now it's 13, 12.9. 12, uh, 12 Let's go around and check. sound from funny sound from the power steering pump but actually job is complete we have a voltage uh, battery is charged car is running like a charm and our mission complete The 720 white one is done and now it's, we have a more McLaren. Here is the one 570 GT I think you see from previous look when we replaced just the one spark plugs and one more 570 S uh, Spider. This is like our, our, let me show you, our challenge with this car. It's it's long story and I just want to take this one and I believe I have one more but uh, let me show you guys sorry <laughs> this is original module this is second module uh, we bought used one and I also have some I don't know where it's third one we have three module it's been broken like uh, the seat is stopped working I check the wiring harness is good I check the wiring harness is good uh, power supply and what I did I just swap the seat from passenger to driver and make sure the wiring harness is good and when I swap uh, driver seat to pas uh, passenger side and connect everything is works okay module well order the module Mo module came in we install and same thing nothing it's like what okay second module possibly is broken because used one order third one install third one still same problem I'm almost 
piece of what's going on? How is that possible? Okay, I take out the module from driver seat because they are the same guys, the same part number, everything is same. Uh, install the module from driver seat to passenger seat, install the seat back, connect, everything is works. And then when we order third one uh, from different company, finally, finally the car, like let me turn the ignition on. Hey, come on, come on buddy, wake up. Yeah, now you see, you can see movement, oh, 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 oh right here. Start moving. But that car is done. Uh, going to customer, happy customer, I hope. And this 570 GT exhaust manifold. Exhaust manifold is been cracked. And now we need to take out the downpipe. It's a cutlass downpipe. Then we need to take out the turbos. I don't know, it's possible to see. No, no, no. And we need to take out the uh, heat jacket. We need to take out the downpipe. We already discharged the uh, AC system. Then we, uh, we pull out the turbocharger and then exhaust manifold. The big challenge is this is um, this is the GT and in the front and uh, from top it's no room over there. But I think I hope we finish this car something around. 12 to 14 hour. We'll see how it's going. Yeah, stay tuned and of course when we take out the exhaust manifold I will show you guys what actually happens. But from my experience it's crack. It's really bad crack. Well guys <laughs> we removed the exhaust manifold and I mean surprise because we imagine it's exhaust manifold crack and the guy visited the dealer and dealer diagnosed for him the crack from exhaust manifold and this burn the wire but actually let me show you what happens uh, here you, can it. you can see here is the deep inside see what, yeah. what happened yeah it's wiring harness crispy crispy burning melted this looks really bad and I believe this like this have a clamp over there like I don't know how oh, that metal clamp yeah maybe it's vibrate and just a cut and short but you you can see that it's really dangerous and now I, I think I think it's exhaust uh, exhaust uh, cracked and just like uh, from the heat yeah from yeah. the heat and just like all hot really hot and hot 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 air maybe with the flame sometimes mm -hmm. it happens because I see on 740 it happens like that but actually guys you can see from here. Yeah, actually, this is just pretty a, bad. Yeah, burning harness. I hope the valve cover is good. Just like it's just the top. Wow. Yeah. Need to check the valve cover condition. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Need to fix these things. Yeah, the old harness. What is burned? We already take out, and now it's. Here. And now it's time to install the manifold and all system turbos back. Well, we just fire up this beast, and actually everything is good. Ilya recharged the AC system. Yep. How you doing, buddy? Almost done. Almost done. Yeah, I need to assemble it. A uh, few panels and diffusers, and we Goodbye. keep. No, we keep the uh, the bottom open. No, we, after everything's done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We go to test drive. We need to warm up all system proper way. Make sure no any leaks. And I hope this last things. But just like <coughs> yesterday, we a little bit investigate what happens and why it happens like that. I think it's just like vibration and uh, this really close the metal clip what is hold that uh, wiring harness and probably that cut the wire and maybe shorted yeah. and this is only that area and I mean this is like all the wire uh, around that area no more because if some um, the, the because that that uh, the most burned wire is came to the uh, that uh, blow off diverter valve let's say diverter valve right it's not blow off uh, 
but that blow diverter well sorry guys <laughs> it looks good it's working we check resistance from left and right side everything is good i think just vibration um and we we replace that ha part of harness and i hope no more happens we'll see yeah buddy hello everybody how's everybody doing are you subscribed to our channel have you hit the bell have you shared our videos please do it helps us out to spread out the world to the about the german auto house today we're going to talk about this wonderful lamborghini and mr dancing bear well today not dancing no, okay today, today he's not dancing yeah finally we finished this guy we have an issue with the abs abs module and that it's a really strange and funny issue some uh, problem with the unit the unit shows the problem with that sensor we replace that sensor it's a brake pressure sensor sender right sender mm -hmm. yeah we replace it this is we have one more and problem is still there and then we replace abs unit and we recorded with leonardo i just want to check the uh airbag stuff um oh okay so cancel sorry guys yeah we replace it we we still keep his uh mechanical side with the pump inside we just replace the module and then program it by leonardo it's really quick and easy like like this like this and finally this car is done and that car is come back to our customer i hope he enjoyed that crazy clutch setting <laughs> it's crazy i mean it's wrong and we jump to another project interesting <laughs> guys i'm sure you remember this car but not on this color because uh for our three vlogs it's changed color twice first is dark gray with uh, so many sign and spongebob over there mm -hmm. <laughs> then that car turned to original color uh a suzuka gray right mm -hmm. And then now it's a finally early king, right? Early king, early king. Yeah, yeah. Like this MK3 <laughs> fancy color, and we wanna do some cool things. Of course, we wanna turn down the rear end, the bumper, spoiler, everything. And guys, you wanna see our new product from uh, Stesso Performance and German Auto House. <laughs> why, why are you pointing me? <laughs> that, that's yes. Okay. You want to see the, our new product from Stessa Performance? It's in house. and But just wait. Done. And now we need to fire up and check how is the sound. But look at this. How is the looks inside that coloring? Pipes and this is Jack Ultramotive logo over there, and we just have our small logo on site. I, I think now it's a little bit it's dark, but it's have a mm. letter S. Yeah, you can yeah, see but it. it looks cool. And now it's official. Arlequin is ready to go rush rally. Let's fire up, but it's it's too loud on a cold start. But it's not that bad when the car is. After cold start, after ten, like a minute, right? Um, yeah, something like yeah. that. Okay. Let's fire up. Let's fire up. And now it's cold start time. Sound. 
of course I want to take that car to ride right now after finish the warm-up and check everything I take to ride and let's check how it's on the road